Hey guys, it's Kat. Welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to um, open up and show you everything that I got in my very first Stitch Fix. Um, one of my friends bought me a gift card to try it out and I'm, I was super excited. I filled out my whole profile and left a note for the stylist and um, she did really great. So I have peeked at this box, um, but we'll go through it and then I'll try it on and try to style it as we go so you can kind of see what the items look like as they're supposed to. Um, but anyways, so let me find the paper. Here's, here's my box. Let's see. All right, so my note from Stephanie, who's my stylist, says, Hey Kat, welcome to Stitch Fix. Thanks for including your Pinterest board. It helps us get to know your style so much better. You had a pin with some black leggings, a chambray top, a plaid scarf, and knee-high boots, so I've included the porter leggings, an amazing thick fabric that doesn't peel or fade after washing, bows top, and concord scarf to achieve a similar look. The Colbury blouse will also look great with the leggings, some layered bracelets, and black ankle boots for work. Since you mentioned you like feminine styles, I thought you might like the blush-colored Nolly cardigan. Layer over a white v-neck tee and paired with a cuff, paired with cuff distressed boyfriend jeans and brown ankle boots. Enjoy. Let me know how I did on style and fit. So, um, here's my style card. Well, maybe I'll show you that at the end so you can kind of see what I got first. Here's my paper. Here's my paper. It says how much everything. <laughs> I found it. I think. Here it is. Yeah. Here it is. Okay. Well, now it's a mess. But, alright. So, the first thing on the paper is my Concord Reversible Plaid Chevron Scarf, which is on here for $38. This thing is super, super, super soft. And I was very specific in my... Um, note to my stylist that I have really sensitive skin and if I get anything that's even slightly scratchy or cold I don't know how to explain that kind of just mm, sticky feeling or I don't know but anyways everything needed to be very soft no wool or anything like that bamboo is okay because it's soft but um, otherwise no no weird materials this is really soft but I'm not really into the color it's it's I think it's coming off true to color on camera it's red with some blue um, striping which makes it look a little purple and it's got the fringe the fringe right on the um, on the ends it's not a blanket scarf it's long so anyways that's really nice but it's I don't I don't really want it <laughs> I'm gonna probably end up keeping it because of the way the style card worked out. Um, but I'll, I'll explain that to you later. So then the second thing I got was the Skies Are Blue Bose Button Down Top. Um, that is this one. So this is like jean looking material, but it's definitely not jean. It's really, really soft. Um, you can roll the sleeves and um, they button kind of up at the elbow if you want to. It doesn't look stupid down either though. So. Either way, um, the only thing I don't love about this is that it was not long enough to cover my butt in the leggings. Um, so that's the only thing, but otherwise it's really cute. Um, since it's not actual jean, and you can tell in person it's not actual, you know, it's not really a jean shirt. It's just those colors and style pattern. Um, it doesn't look old and ridiculous. So it says it's ten, ten cell. I think that's how you say T E N C E L material. So, anyways, that's really nice. Um, and then I got let's see what's next. The paper. Oh, this is the Paper Moon cardigan um, in pink blush. And the color is um, so it's not as orange as it looks on the screen from what I'm seeing. It's actually very pale um, pink, which is really nice. Pink's one of my favorite colors. I love girly 
things and the fact that the crochet is here in the middle of the back on a piece of clothing that I'm only going to wear over something else is perfect. I wouldn't have worn this on my on my arms because it is itchy feeling um, but back there it's totally fine so that's perfect for me. And then on the sleeves, right on the end of the sleeves which is great because <laughs> because uh, same thing, you can't feel it on your skin. So I really like this. Uh, it's just very feminine and girly. I have a lot of things like these, um, but this one is particularly soft and, um, well, it's pink, so I'll probably keep it. <clears throat> then we have the 41 Hawthorne Solid Tab Sleeve Col Col Colibri, Colibri? Solid Tab, Solid, tab sleeve blouse. This is really cute. And it's really thin, which is fine. I mean, I live in Colorado, so the thing is, it's warm and then cold all on the same day. Um, so I like that it has sleeves. I don't, um, I don't have any complaints about this. It's, it's this like chiffon feeling, but it's not uncomfortable. It's polyester, but, um, anyways. And then you can roll the sleeves on this one also. Or you can leave them down both ways. Again, look fine. It's got this nice button detail in the back. Um, so it's super cute. This one I definitely, definitely want to keep. Um, it's, you know, a little see-through, but I wear undershirt anyway on everything. And then the last thing I got was the Ruin Porter Leggings. And I should mention that these are all medium. Um... Some of them felt a little bit tight on my arms, but um, that's totally fine in this style and size because I'm never going to be bigger than I am now. This is usually at the peak of <laughs> my my ups and downs. So, um, so that's totally fine the way that those fit. I really love them. But these are the leggings. Um, I mean, they just look like black leggings. And when I first put these on, I was like, oh, these feel tight. But um, once I got them on, they felt great. They just they just hugged in all the right places, and they just, they were really comfortable. I've had leggings that you kind of feel like you have to keep pulling up all day. And, I mean, you know that that's annoying. As a woman, you don't want to be pulling your clothes up. I mean, as a man, you probably don't want to do that either. But I know I definitely do not want to be pulling my clothes up. And there's opportunities when, or there's no opportunity for me to do it when I'm working. If I'm wearing something like that, and it... And, I, and the leggings keep like kind of scooting down. If I'm working and I have color all over my hands and I'm doing somebody's hair, I'm not gonna pull my pants up. It's not like I'm sitting at a desk where I can kind of adjust every time I have to see somebody. Um, so, okay, that seemed like a really long and pointless information, but whatever. So those are my items. So here's my, here's my thing. Cause as you know, I have tried these on and the try on Part of this video will be at the end so that you can see what everything looks like styled. Um, my total for everything together, I did not tell you uh, how much everything was either way. The scarf was 38, the jean looking top was 58, the pink cardigan was 54, the blue blouse was 48, and the leggings are 38. So my total is 236 plus the discount is 25% so that's $59 off. And then the styling fee credit would be $20. So I would be spending $157 if I bought everything, which I don't actually, I don't think that that is bad at all for this number of clothes. Um, but um, I would never spend $38 on that scarf. I would buy something else, a blanket scarf or like a true plaid. Um, but I will keep it just so is that noise? I will keep it because the $59 off, if I send that back, it's $38. I will end up spending more than I would if I just kept it. So the only other option for me is the item that I, I like even the second item that I would probably send back if I was sending things back, if there was no 25% off, I would probably send back the pink cardigan because I have so many things like that 
it's not a necessary piece. And what I'm trying to do is kind of build up essentials to my wardrobe so that I have a very small but very usable wardrobe that I can mix and match. And that one, being the color and style that it is, sure I could wear it over a lot of things, but not often. I probably wouldn't wear it often. I would wear a black one way more often than I would wear a pink one. Um, so I would send those two things back, but even that, um, being $54, I wouldn't, I guess I would end up saving like 35 So I don't know. You know what the thing is? It's something to think about. And I have a few days to think about it. What do you guys do? I mean, how do you make these decisions? They trick you. This is a trick. This whole thing, this is how they do it. They're like, we'll give you 25 bucks off if you keep it all. And you're like, I might as well keep it all. Except there's a couple of things you don't really love and you don't really need. So I might end up keeping it and then trying to sell it on the Stitch Fix Facebook page. Because I know that people do that. And this is my first fix. But um, since I did the golden tote thing twice, I do kind of know a little bit about how that you can sell things online. So I don't know. What would you what would you do? What would you keep? What would you not keep? You tell me. Um okay, anyways, so I guess I'm gonna I'm gonna go. I don't know what else there is to say. Yeah. Okay, well, um hope you enjoy the try on part and I will I'll, maybe I'll post in the description what I decided to keep in case you're curious. I mean, who knows? I would probably be curious if I was watching your video and you were telling me what you were and weren't interested in. So, um, okay. Hey guys, um, so I'm just chiming back in to let you know um, that I did change my mind about what I was thinking I was going to keep. After I went back and watched my try on video, I decided to only keep two things, the leggings and the jean top. And that's because I just didn't like the way that the other things looked on me looking from like a third party point of view. So sometimes it can help to watch. Um, a playback of yourself with the clothes on or just have someone else take the pictures of you so you don't end up with clothes that you're self-conscious in later um so i kept the light blue button-up top and the black leggings which go really great with my brown boots and a plaid um scarf that i already have so i actually wore that outfit today and i checked out on stitch fix this morning and uh yeah but i just wanted to give you a quick, a quick update and let you know that I didn't actually enjoy some of those items, even though they're really beautiful, um, not on. I didn't like the, the way that they looked on me, so sometimes that happens. But, yep, that's about it. <laughs>